Well, today I got a little treat for you. Uh, testing out a new battery pack a lot of people haven't tried yet. Uh, these are the Greenworks 29282s. They are the 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery packs. Uh, they came out with a new GMAX series and all of their old battery packs, for some odd reason, do not plug into them. So a lot of the tool companies are closing out on these packs, so you can get them at good deals. Uh, as you can see, I only got two LEDs out of the four lit up. And on the bottom here, just uh, standard warnings and ratings and listings and where it's made from. And then it just says 40 volts DC, 146 watt hours. So I'm going to bust this thing open and find out what is really in here, what they use for cells. Uh, Lightweight, fade-free power, no memory effect. That's what it says. Uh, it has tamper torques on the side to access uh, the insides. If you do not have the correct tamper bit, uh, a simple way to break those inside little nubs is to just clamp a little micro screwdriver onto a pair of vice grips, insert them into the screw hole and give it a little turn, and you'll pop out all the inside little tampers. Now I could take a regular torque, put it in my quarter inch drive screwdriver and take these screws out. I pulled all the screws out and looks like there's a couple of stickers that they stick across the pack in three spots that I'm going to have to cut. Alright, finally got the pack opened and at first glance things are looking good. I don't know what brand these cells are, but they are 18650s. They're in a blue heat shrink. Uh, Looks like there's some sort of a plastic and foam end cap that's covering the cells. Uh, not sure how many are in there in the configuration yet, but let's uh, dig into it a little more. Well, that's kind of neat. Kind of comes apart in three easy pieces, and looks like right on top of this thing there's some sort of a 40 amp inline protection. So that's kind of neat. Looks like it's got some sort of a PCB or circuit board here to help keep the cells in balance during charging. And then you have your standard little gauge here like DeWalt has on their DCB200s. It's funny, I remember reading on the forums about somebody saying they couldn't find 40 volts on the terminals. Any which way you put these things, you can only find 16 to 18 volts. So it seems like uh, they must make a series connection somewhere in these four prongs when it plugs into the device. So you can't actually get 40 volts out of the terminals. But if you simply uh, put your red and your black on the battery leads themselves, your voltage comes out. And I have 36.4 volts. So I'm going to take this board off and uh, dig into these cells and see what they are. To take the board off, I had to uh, pretty much cut every single balance wire off of the 40 volt pack. And come to find out, I flip it over and you can find the little temp sensor stuck down in there. Alright, so it's 20 cells of 18650 and you can hardly see it but come on camera adjust it says ATL 7.5 watt hour INR 18650P201 and then there's also another number on the right hand side it says C952083 5E790 so I'm not too familiar with these cells, but overall, I almost don't even want to take them out of this black little housing. It's pretty much the smallest you're going to configure these cells, and it's in a very nice solid pack. Very easy to build larger packs out of this. I think this, uh, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but as long as these things have a decent C rating, I think this is a decent pack to configure here if you can get a good price on them. That has to be the easiest tool pack ever to disassemble. Uh, the second pack probably took me two minutes, realistically, I'm not kidding. Digging in a little bit more, I peeled off one of the foam ends, and as you can see, you 
can't take them out of their plastic housings because they're wired into them. They tab welded everything. It looks like it's all machined in that way specifically and it's actually fairly nice. I kind of like it. Probably just going to re-solder in some new balance taps. I'm going to pull the foam off of all of it now and get to work. After peeling off the foam, I just uh, snipped off all the old balance leads. I'm not going to need those anymore. Uh, if I end up putting more on, I'll just uh, change them out to my new ones. And now you can easily tell that uh, they're wired in a 2P configuration. And there's 20 cells. So, I've got 40 cells right here. 